there, I'm Terry Hart with today's Entertainment City. From the days of Clint Eastwood and Robert Redford to Ben Affleck and George Clooney. Now a whole new crop of stars are joining the Actors Turn Directors Club, including Brie Larson and Canuck Connor Jessup. It was always obvious to me that as soon as I could, yeah. I would start directing. <sighs> This is Lyra's Forest, directed by Connor Jessup, who five years ago was one of the Toronto International Film Festival's rising stars. Now he's cementing that star status by showing off his skills as a filmmaker. Devo Brown chatted with him about it. You are a veteran. And you're 23? 23, yeah. You've done so much already, which is amazing. Falling Skies, American Crime, and Closet Monster are some of the credits that you have as an actor. And now you're making that transition. And we have a lot of actors that are turning directors now. you got George Clooney. You've got, you know, Angelina Jolie. You find that the challenges are different or similar as a filmmaker. On a, on a surface level, it's very different because acting is just between people. You're part of your cog in a machine doing one job, one part. As a director, it's really like a puzzle, and you're you're looking at all the pieces and trying to make them fit. Jessup's short, Lyra's Forest, will premiere at TIFF, and he's not the only Canadian actor turned director whose work has been selected for the festival. Others include House of Cards actress Molly Parker, who will premiere her debut, Bird. And then, of course, we have the Hollywood contingent, including Jolie, Clooney, and Larson, all of whom have won Oscars for their work in front of the camera. In the new Canadian film, Phil Hanley trades stand-up comedy for wedding videography, although Sundowners still brings the funny, but with an angsty edge. We need to stop talking about how we're losers all the time. We're not losers. You're right. We're just not special. There was a night out where you guys all partied and stuff, and a lot of drinking involved. How realistic was that? Was there actual... Was it a party? Uh, yeah, that was a fun night. I'll say, it was, I'll say it was a fun night. All right, so the overall take from this movie, what are the audience getting from it? Uh, hopefully they get some laughs. So this is what it's all about, eh? Is it? I don't know, I'm really hot. Yeah, I'm hot too, man. Let's go inside. This yeah. is crazy. Sundowners will be released on iTunes this Friday. Coming up tomorrow, our chat with British pop rockers, The Vamps. For Entertainment City, I'm Terry Hart.